the fight against Galamse still presses on. Hello there and welcome to Use Your Voice. On this show, as usual, we give you the opportunity to air your voice, your views, your thoughts, opinions about issues that are trending in the country, about issues that are affecting our country. And today, we are with the concerned citizens of Ghana who are doing a three-day protest against Galamse. And it's the same question we are asking you. What are your thoughts about this? So when the microphone comes to you, do not go anywhere. Just take it and let us know your thoughts. The, the future of Ghana is at stake. The international community is mocking at us. The question is, how did we get here? This is Ghana. We voted for Nana Rodan Kwakufuado. Dr. Baomia, they promised us heaven. But what are we seeing? Economic hardship. Bad roads. Bad leadership. In fact, our judiciary is one of the worst to talk of. The question is, what is the system talking about? Unless that is not enough, they have helped us by creating the most expensive oil in this country. If Nanado who have performed this will never believe it. This government has given Ghanaians hope. Now we are a country of hopelessness. We are our dignity is lost as a country. What is the future of we the youth? Fellow youths out there. It is you and I our responsibility to save our country. It is now or never. Because if you are sitting in your corner and think it's, you are unconcerned, it will catch you up. Today, our mothers, our wives are receiving treatment and in you know, plastic chairs. Today, pregnant women are receiving treatment in what? On the bare floor. Their question is, how did we get here? Today, 58 billion have been used to create a hole. What we've seen is uselessness, recklessness and stupidity. The time has come for us to save our country. Enough or is enough. This government has failed Ghanaians. This government has failed Africa. And enough is enough. What are you talking about? We need a good jobs. We need a good hospitals. We need a good hospitals. We need a good policies to what? To help us grow as a country. We need a good and a robust educational system. The question is how did you get here? A decorated monkey is still a monkey. Nanado has disappointed Ghanaians. And his name goes as a curse the in the history coming. of what? Ghana. The in the history coming. of Africa. The because coming. if Ronaldo was has led one of the deadliest demonstrations in this country, and today he is a sitting president, and at the end of you the day, care. we see all this hardship you under you. Now the, 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 the media, the press is now surprised. Yes. People can't talk. Where is the clergy? Where are our, our, our leaders at the church? Our pastors, where are they? Where, where are, are they? Where are, you where, are you? where are you? The time has come for you to save this country. The time has come for us to what? To change this record and this people. We shall arise and fight. If not, we shall arise and fight. We shall arise and fight. It happened in Kenya. We shall arise and fight. It happened in Kenya. Enough is enough. And there's a whole court in Kokoa. What do you think? The girl I'm saying is that I know 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 I'm going to two form sides. He said, Yes, you know, I'm saying. Now, saying, Oh, 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 I'm going to say, Oh, I'm going to you These are deformities and effect of what? The, the harmful chemicals they are using you are the water bodies. So, at the end of the day, the time has come. We thought that they were honorable people. But whatever they have given us, they are total dishonorable services. We thought that at least. Nanado as an elder has at a level age. of sense at and wisdom. But we the youth, we can't see that. What are they looking for? Look, our system is frustrated. Our educational system is bad. The question, how did we get here? Enough or enough is enough of the of the useless government, the autocratic leadership, enough is enough. We know that Galamse has become a topical issue in the country as at now. We want to find out from you. What are the effects of Galamse? Do you have a personal experience we do want to share in your community? How bad is the Galamse and illegal mining affecting our environment and our water bodies? Okay, so I don't have a personal experience in my neighborhood, but I do know some things from the internet, which is like a very easy access to have information. So illegal mining right now in Ghana, it's like they are using the they are using the soil and then they are using water to be able to find gold and other resources. Now, while they are doing that, they put chemicals in the water. And those chemicals in the water are like mercury. That's the one I know, mercury. And mercury, if you look closely, the effects of mercury can cause dialysis. Dialysis is like when your uh, kidney are giving up. So 
all this about illegal mining and uh, except from that there's facts there's in other region of Accra Ashanti region for example on the internet if you open Twitter right now if you open Google right now you will see images of kids of people dying drinking dead sea water and with the chemicals inside because there's no other solution fishes are dying because we are also using those rivers to have the fish that we are using in Accra right now fishes are dying so all these are the effect of illegal mining except from the mercury they are poisoning the water and this water will one day get to the sea and it will be the whole country that will be see um geologists did a research recently said that they stated that by 2030 we will not have potable water in ghana here so you will just be imported water so how is the situation when you look at this beautiful country so resourceful country that we cannot be having water by 20 by 2030 we will not be having potable water why why is that in school we learned about yeah how galams what galam says and then how it has effect on us but we always didn't see it happen physically but right now when you open your taps the water is not flowing ask yourself why is the water not flowing if our water bodies are working our water bodies are healthy our water bodies are functioning properly ask yourself why is it that you open your taps and, you, and it's not working and right now you might think that oh galamse has not yet reached my place if i open the taps it's clean water that is coming but ask yourself the food the food you are eating is made, is made with tomatoes pepper what have you but all this is the galamse water that they are using to water the crops so when you are eating you think that oh you are in the, well, on the safer side even if you are visiting the most exorbitant restaurants, these restaurants are using food stuff grown in Ghana. So when the food stuff that have been grown in Ghana, they were it's the sediments of these um, galamse rocks that were poured into them. It contains arsenic. It contains what? So many uh, mercury, uh, cyanide. All these things are not healthy, and we are eating them. People are born in the villages, and they have neurological disorders, respiratory disorders. You might think that oh, it's an issue of maybe somebody is doing me somewhere, but no, it's about the water. These are small, small effects we see. But then it, it doesn't click in your head that, oh, it's because they are, they are destroying the water bodies. But meanwhile, you drink water, I drink water, everybody drinks water. Belacqua, Vaultic, all these companies, they use water made in Ghana. And it's even, right now, a bottle of water is 3 cd 50 pesos. And it's even water made in Ghana. So imagine you are importing water to come and drink. You are going to pay more. And that's the current economy supports you buying and importing water so in all we are just asking them to fix the water bodies it's affecting us small small right now i don't have water at home i have to wait till they, they decide to open it and when are they going to open it somebody's in the village somewhere they don't have what the opportunity to get this water i'm getting they are drinking directly People are dying and we put the leaders there. We are the ones who put you there. We put you there to serve us. So if you know you cannot do it, just get out. Let somebody come and do it for us. The issue at hand is Galamse. And Galamse is a personal issue. It is a national issue. It is not a partisan issue. It cuts across everyone. That is why he says that we are all involved. So my personal story is that we have some of our family members who live in the villages. And then the water that they were drinking Compared to the water now, it's really, really abysmal. So we are crying on everyone to get involved so that our water bodies might be clean. So as we all know, Galamse affects our water bodies and the pollution of our water bodies affects our food and water security because um, the same water that's being polluted is going to be the same water that's used to irrigate our food crops. That goes to our marts, our shopping centers. So if this is not put to a stop. Yes. It's going to affect um, everything. Yes. We're going to be importing water. Yes. We're not going to have safe yes. food to eat. Yes. And I think um, the leaders have the power to do something. So they should. They should um, try to control the situation because it doesn't affect just us. It affects the future everybody, generation. Everybody, my children, everybody, my children's children, everybody. everybody. everybody die, and die. I mean, yeah. Galamse also causes. Um, Defects in children as well. You've seen some images online as well. Deformities. Yes, deformities. So I think um, it's not just a today problem. It's a, it's a, it's gonna affect us in the long run. So I think, um, I mean, once it's once it's under control, then we take the next measures to try and purify our waters. I mean, it's gonna take some years, but then it can be done. If anything is possible, actually. We just need to put our foot down and do the work. That's what I think. Personally, I had issues with Mahama. So 
Nanado was somebody we thought was coming to save yes. this country. Yes. Look at that, his age, yes. his experience and all that. Yes. Now you can't even speak in your own country. Oh. Oh. I am thinking that yes. common sense will tell us that this police we see here today yes. should be on the Kalamse sites yes. and be doing yes. the needful. Yes. They should be, they should be on the Kalamse yes. sites yes. and doing the needful. Yes. Now we are scared to ban because yes. we will lose seats in these areas. Yes. Are we thinking of the people? He told us that he can revive the economy. Yes. But he can revive the life of human beings. Yes. Is that what he told us? Yes. What has changed? No now we are changed. We are chasing political yes. gratification at the expense yes. of the life of the ordinary person. Yes. Yes. Four years, you need these people to vote for you again. Yes. True or false? False. You need us to vote for you again two, four false. years to come. False. What if we are not there four years again to vote for you? Who votes for you? False. Is it the trees? Is it the buildings? Nah. Or the money you are we keeping? Your, we are in this country. A woman had over a million dollars in her room. Ah. So now she's walking free. Bro. So now she's walking free. Ghanaians, you have seen us state. like we are hey, timid. But they should know that the time is coming. Hey, it happened hey. in Kenya. The youth of Kenya rose up. Yes. And the military, the police could but not contain people. them. When that time comes, we shall be up. We will fight for this country. Yes. We will fight for Mother Ghana. Yes. And we will save Ghana for all these people. Yes. Because they are all part of us. Yes. We love them because they love us. Yes. They are doing their job. We respect yes. them. Yes. But the leaders should know yes. that when we are when we rise up, yes. when the time comes, yes. the flag stab us. Wherever the institutions are, now you have compromised all the institutions. But the time is coming. Things will change. Stop Galamse now. You are destroying our water bodies. Our farmlands. Cocoa used to be one of the products Ghana used to produce in large quantities. We are cutting the trees down. We are cutting the trees down, looking for gold. How long? How long? How long? The food that I eat, right? It's grown majority in all these regions that um, Galamse is running rampant, okay? And the water being poisoned with mercury, arsenic, cyanide, all the chemicals you can think about is what is used in irrigating these crops. They are harvested and brought to Accra for our consumption. So that is my personal experience. And of course, because you might not feel it at an instant or because it is not happening just at a go when you eat, does not mean that the long-term effect is not there. It's going to take a while because Galamse started not today. And the effects keep creeping in. Today people are giving birth to deformed babies. People have kidney issues. At what point in time am I one day going to walk into the hospital and then all of a sudden I'm going to be told that, look, my kidneys are shot yes. just because yes. I had been consuming food yes. all this while that but had been it, irrigated with contaminated water. So I don't need to wait yeah. so I actually see the adverse effects wow. on it on me yes. but rather I need to speak out now because yeah. even if I am in Accra and it's not affecting me directly it's affecting yeah. my brothers and sisters in all the other regions and the issue is very simple yes. It it's Ghana. Ghana. Yes. It does not matter whether it's in the eastern, you western, you Ashanti, are. Bono, Ahafo. It does not matter. Good. Good. I mean Ghana, Ooh. and that's what matters. And Ooh. if it's going wrong, look, forget everything. Forget the food, forget the water. Let's assume I forget all of those things, right? Yeah. What of tourism? Yes. What of our beautiful greenery? Literally, when we take our Ghana for it's red, yes. gold, green. What is happening to the greenery yes. now? It's all short. We yes. are just left with the red and the yellow. Yes. And people are focusing more on the yellow. They are forgetting the effects that's happening on the greenery. Ooh. On literally the green ah, that is in the flag. Now the green has become open. brown. Your mind open. Because all our rivers, 16 of them. Brown. You see, you just, you just At what point in time sense. are you going to be angry? Bob. I am angry now because I know the adverse effects. I am seeing it. I am even experiencing it. Yeah. At what time are you also going to get up from your room, from wow. your homes, mm -hmm. from your houses and say, yeah. ah, enough is enough? Yes. No. Get up. Rise up now. Now is the time. Now, Listen. Now. We all know Galamse is not a good thing and it affects us so many. You know, we have lung diseases and other issues. And I want to tell you that maybe the leaders can afford dialysis, but we can. So if you are out there and you know you have time to join us, kindly come and join us. So let's protest peacefully. As you can see, everyone is here protesting peacefully. Nothing is going wrong. Everything is going well. So come, let's protest peacefully. If you look at WHO, it states mercury as one of the leading chemicals. And so I don't fortunate it's any nuts in our, in our water body. Water is a natural resource, it's our life. Without it, we can't exist. I happened to be in an Azim early March and I saw the river Akobia for myself. I mean, I was so surprised that such a huge body man, something which serves the community, 
So when I got to the community, I realized that we were having water crisis and it was all due to the fact that the contamination in the Akopia due to the illegal mining is what has caused it. And it's rather sad where we are in this day and time that water will become an issue all because of uh, mining. So I'm here to rally my support because I think it's a good cause and so far so good. So immediately, immediately, firstly, they need to stop balancing. They need to stop illegal mining. Because I believe with all the images I see on the internet, with all the facts that I have in my position right now, I believe that the government is informed of whatever is going on. I believe that they know that illegal mining is going right now and that they are poisoning our rivers, they are poisoning our water. So what we want them to do right now is to stop illegal mining. You go there and you stop them by every. You put military, you put police there, you do what needs to be done for you to be stopping water. We are not asking for much. I feel like we are not asking for much. We are just asking that let Galam say cease. Put a ban on Galam say whether it's legal or it's illegal, as far as it's entering our water bodies, let it cease. It has become rampant these days. That is why our water bodies are getting destroyed. In the past, it wasn't like that. But then now it is like that, which shows that there's something going wrong somewhere. So wherever the problem is going wrong, fix it. Put a ban on it. Seize it. Let us have access to clean water. That's just what we want. Okay, so right now, I can see you have joined this protest. I want to know what exactly do you want the government, the leadership of the country to do about this menace? Okay, thank you very much. One thing I've realized is that most of our leaders have failed us. They are leaders by talking, not leaders by action. Most of them want to give orders, but little action. We want the leaders to take action. We want leaders to take action, not by direction. We want instant ban on all mining activities, both illegal and then non-illegal. We know that the leaders know those who are involved in the Galamsee. They know themselves. That is why we, the youth of this country, have risen up to talk about this issue. Because it's affecting everyone. We can import water for some years to come, but we cannot import our kidneys. We cannot import our kidneys. That is why Galamsee is a very big issue, and then it's also a national issue. So with um, controlling Galamsee, when you issue licenses to people, it's gonna um, yeah you're gonna regulate them through the licenses. But um, I mean, for the years I've been in Ghana, um, I know that there's regulation issues in yes. various sectors. Yes. I don't know how they're going to regulate the elite, the miners, those with the licenses. But at least when their license when their licenses given, yeah. you're able to control maybe create dams to um, what do you call it prevent the water from getting into the water bodies because those who do it illegally they don't have the machinery to actually try to prevent the water from actually getting into our water body so it's it's also um it's also the issue but aside that mining and forest reserves we need a forest we need trees the sun is so hot like it's really really hot like i've had three layers of sunscreen on me like it's crazy we need the we need the trees we need the water. Um, we are just calling our Kufado and then the government to do something about it now. It's not we are going to wait, give us more time. Please, you've been in power for almost eight years. Do something about it. It is that simple. He told us that he's going to put his presidency on the line. Is that what he said? And so we expect him now, put the presidency on the line, put the next campaign on the line, burn all campaign, illegal mining activities. All mining activities, ban them now. Yes. They can wait. Yeah, yeah. When the time is right, we go through all the processes. Those who are qualified to mine, you give them the, the role to mine. So now, ban all mining activities in this country. Because the future is bleak. The future is blur. We are dying. All it takes is a simple order from above. That order from above they've been given and things have been happening. They need, we need that order from above yes. in order for Galamse to stop now. It yes. is possible and we are shouting and calling upon the government to say enough is enough. That's it. What exactly do you want the government to do, the leaders, to do about this whole Galamse menace? Okay, so I will personally say that if they feel they are, they are destroying our water bodies and leave to other countries to enjoy their life, they should know that before I if could eat the uh, apple, she didn't know that we will call, we will bear the cost. So if they are destroying the water bodies today, tomorrow maybe they they will think they are rich today. But 
You can be rich today and be poor tomorrow. So they should think about the future and stop this thing. It, if you can deploy over thousands of policemen to join us in this peaceful protest, why don't you deploy all these policemen to the Galamse side to fight against Galamse? If these policemen are to be at the Galamse side, it can take just three days and everything about Galamse will see. They should learn something and they should learn something about what we are doing if we the kids can see if we the kids can see that what they are doing is wrong how much more them so we are begging them no insult no nothing we are begging them they know what is right they should do what is right for us that's all we are saying i think i think it's not rocket science what they should do i mean there was a moment where the president had to stop every activity of galamse or mining yes. i think you should just do same yes. to yes. allow for think tanks yes. to allow for individual yes. to allow for policies yes. and then they can reflect yes. and do what is yes. right What's it's as simple as a pen break got him, got him. but if he does not adhere yes. it's becoming worse by the day yes. and if care is not taken yes. We don't know what the future holds. Yes. Some of us are still young. Yes. We've not been privy to some of the privileges they enjoy, yeah. the free investments and all that. Yeah. So we have to fight for ourselves and also our future. What happens if they decide not to hear us? Now you are at a protest right now, protesting that the government's coming. What happens if nothing happens? Yeah, if nothing happens, we keep protesting. We are, we are going to make things move. We are not staying silent. We are not going to watch our water get polluted and not do anything. If they are not if they don't want to hear us, we'll keep talking. One day they won't hear us. We'll keep talking. We are taking the things very, very far. And then we hope that maybe by tomorrow or by maybe next week, other Ghanaians will come and join us. And then we will protest. They need to hear our voices. What happens if they decide not to hear our cry and the protest we are doing? What next? I feel like our leaders, we've been so calm for we say that oh Ghanaians are calm Ghanaians are calm but then if they decide not to heed to whatever we are saying I feel like a revolution is going to occur because we've put you there we put you there money is coming into your pocket just do what you have to do you can spend the money what you want whatever you want to do with the money do with it but they just fix what you are supposed to fix so if you decide not to fix it we kick you out and then we bring somebody else in somebody who is going to hear the cry of the people if the government decide not to listen to us we will not give up this is not the last protest that we are going to do. We will continue to voice out our cry. When we vote them in power, we expect them to be held accountable. There is no accountability in this country. We vote people into office and then they are not able to account to us with their citizens. So if they don't listen, we are not going to give up. We will still press on. We will press on to get the results that we want. What happens if this enough is enough, come to our aid, may bring this calamity to an end, doesn't go anywhere and they do nothing about it? You see, that's the beauty of governance, right? I won't stop protesting because it's my right as a citizen to continue making noise, okay? I will continue to write the letters. I'll continue to petition people that I'm supposed to petition. I will do any and everything legally possible for my voice to be heard. And the ultimatum is for me to go to the polls. And then we are going to vote. Listen, it's three months to election. A lot of people have asked that, why is it that, oh, you waited, you, you've waited, and it's three months to election, you are now making noise. Of course, they are seeking my vote. Now is the time for me to make my demands. And my demands are not outrageous. I'm not saying buy me a house. I'm not saying buy me a car. I'm not saying make me the most comfortable person yes. ever. Yes. But I am saying I do not want to live in a country where I would not be able to now afford water. I do not want to live in a country where water has to be imported for me to buy. Yes. I do not want to live in a country where even the food that I eat is now basically a, a, a try and error affair where you do not know whether it's, it's been irrigated with contaminated water or not. We are saying, look, stop Galam saying now. Once you stop it, then you can come and preach to me all your policies and all because you are the one seeking my mandate. And for my mandate, I say stop Galam say. That's all. What happens if they don't do anything about it? Okay, if they don't do anything against it, we are just citizens. We have no power to say. All we can do is to protect, create awareness. So we'll do what we can do as a citizen. And if they still keep on, the Lord Almighty will deal with them. No wonder they are getting sick all, all this world. So we will do what we can as a citizen. And they should take the majority lead. So they should do what is good. I'm, I know they know what is good. And they just don't want to do it. Please and please, the Galam say the gold does not work more than our lives. So please and please and please again. We are begging them. They know what is right. They should just do it. You can call them. They, they can just, it's just a matter of order. They can deploy these policemen to the Galam say side. And all they'll do is they'll just stop it peacefully. So we are begging them. 
Well, what happens if they do nothing about it? Now, the media is a very powerful tool. I is on us. The world is on us. The world is watching. We we'll have to regroup ourselves again because we want results. We want the desired results. So once we're not getting the desired result, we'll just have to regroup again. Thank God that other bodies, other religious bodies like the Catholic Church are adding their voices to it. So we will not stop to see change. The young people of the country have spoken. They have aired their views and opinions about what they expect the country leaders, the leadership and the government to do about this Galamse issue. What next? We are about to find out.